It is NBA action on... One by Sacramento. To Beasley. Barnes. Screen coming. It's a turnover as they head the other way. Throws it down. And if you're on defense on that last possession, no need to look over to the coach's bench, hold up your arms, wonder what did you do. Everybody got back. Everybody communicated. Everybody pointed. It was just better offense than there was defense. Nice finish at the rim. And I'm going to gloat about my old team here for a second. Did you know the Bulls are the only NBA franchise to win multiple championships and never lose an NBA final series in their history? 6-0 right now. It helped to have a guy named MJ. But, Jay, think about this. If he's not gone those two seasons, maybe it's eight straight finals wins. Cauley Stein powers it through. And when you get your prescription, you take your medicine and you call it a day. It's Chicago ball. Down the lane, but the shot won't fall. And you see so many players quit on the play after they were beat the first time, but not him. He stayed on his hip, he fought back, and he made the player miss the shot. That's great defense. Let's it fly from beyond the arc, off the iron. No good. Holly Stein, great feed, sets it up. Tough looking shot there, still gets it to go down. Two points, take them any way you can get them. Count the basket, a lot of contact, no foul. No doubt about where that one was headed. Into the front court, it's Fox. Looking to make something happen, knocked loose. And that's going to get out of bounds. It remains Sacramento basketball. Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. Substitutions, Sacramento. Screen coming. Watch the screen, watch the screen. De'Aaron Fox. Here's Lopez, down low. Tough make through traffic. I was expecting the disc there, but way to fake that one and lay that one in. Number 45, Denzel Valentine. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. He gets it. Well, you know what the old saying is, when you assume you make a, you know what I'm talking about. You can't fault the D too much there. I was expecting the kick out three. In a flash, scores at the rim. I'm telling you right now, with moves like that, scoring is not going to be an issue tonight. Oh, here it is, here it is. Bulls with I it. it. I got ball. I got ball. To Lopez. Robin Lopez. Two for two. That's what you want. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense, defense. keeps up that kind of pressure, defense. good go. things are bound to happen. To Fox. No good, and no foul. From long range, that's off the side of the rim, short. And the nice finish at the rim. Late heave to beat the buzzer, and so we're through one here at United Center with the Bulls on top. Jay and First quarter down as we get ready to start the... To healed. The Kings now with four to shoot. There's a pass stolen by Chicago. Come on, let's dig in. Let's really build this lead. Try to cash in. Can't connect. 
Fox with it. Right now, down seven. Nothing going here on that drive. Doesn't get the bounce. It's Sacramento ball. Knocked loose. It's a turnover as they head the other way. Layup's good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. You know, Ed, the effort is what concerns me the most. Effort is replenishable. If you're tired, raise your hand, check yourself out. Get somebody who actually wants to get back in transition and play some defense. That will help your team win the game, not you just staying in the game to be better on offense. Throws it down. Jay, you know the deal. Keep the touches coming inside. As long as that defense continues to give you high percentage shots, you better take that every time. Done. Going to launch beyond the arc. Second effort to the outside. To Wendell Carter, Levine. Fires the three. Great defense, forcing the miss. Shooter shoot, period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. To Barnes. Cruises inside for two. That's lunch pail business right there. Don't worry about the no call. Keep powering through. The pass stolen by Sacramento. And now he's going to shoot a few more as he's fouled going up for it. Aggressive play there, but you can't fault the defender for being up in the shooter. You need to contest shots each and every one of them. Harrison Barnes has got two shots coming for his career, 78% at the line. Goes two for two. do it for the first half with the Bulls in front. Thanks for joining us for the halftime report. The second half is about to get started. To Markinen. Lays it up and in. The seventh pick overall. Larry Markinen had an exquisite rookie season. Ending the year, all-rookie first team. Even executive VP John Paxson of the Bulls organization referred to him as the cornerstone of the franchise. De'Aaron Fox slams it down. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Fox across the timeline. The deficit now up to five. Oh, Carter with the rejection. That's out of bounds off a of bull. Buddy healed. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Levine. Oh, he had him there for a second. To Wendell Carter. Porter. For three. Tough shot. He hits. And here's the setup, Ed, down the stretch. From a player who's been in these type of positions, Eventually, I'm going to hit you with a head fake, and you're going to have to jump considering I just made the last couple of threes. And that's when I find an easy way to get to the rim or force the defense to collapse to kick out for, guess what, another one. Has a look. Wide open look. Won't go. And a chance coming up at the line. I've seen it happen so many times. Small things like that foul can end up becoming a momentum changer. Let's see how this one plays out. First one goes down. Goes two for two at the line. Kings with the ball. Robin Lopez sends it away. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. The follow won't go either. 
Here's a chance from long range. Knocks it down. That was a tough shot. Look, the reality is some players have it and some players don't. There's a reason why they call him the one. Oh, a whistle. Timing was just a tad bit off. Looks like both teams are making substitutions. De'Aaron Fox. And the rebound taken by Lopez. To Porter. Let's it fly from long range. And out of Porter. So smooth. Catch and shoot. Buries the three. And watching all these great shooters on the floor at once, it almost mesmerizes me. It's like you're watching the shot in slow motion. The backspin, it gives off the feel that the ball's going in every time. De'Aaron Fox to Heald. Shot clock for Sacramento. Short jumper off the mark. To Porter. Four three. That's good D. Shot no good. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. Bulls with the rock. To Markkinen. Beyond the arc for three. And he can't get it to go down. It's no good. Fox into the front court. His guys trail by ten. Has a chance. Shot won't go. The Bulls take this one. As they win this one handily. That does it for my partner Jay Williams and our entire crew. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. We look forward to seeing you again next time.
Opening tip one. And it's out again. It's taken home now. Let's go. Substitutions, Chicago. Substitutions, Milwaukee. Here's a chance from long range. Textbook defense. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. And he's fouled. Nice move that time, and he's going to the line for two. Guys like Gary Payton would always take ones early like this all the time. Number one, to see if they'll get caught. And number two, to leave a little mark on you to remind you that they'll be on you all game long. No good on the second. It's a one of two trip. Oh, big finish at the rim. You have to understand something. I do not care that you're one of six from the field. The only statistic that matters is the final score. Bledsoe with the basketball. 10 to the score. Missed it. They weren't going to give that to him. To Lopez. Ersan Ilyasova sends it away. Jesse racing mistakes left and right. Bucks at the controls. Lori Markkinen snatching it out of the air. Count the bucket for two. This comes down to great execution, both on the offensive and defensive end of the floor. Let's see if they can carry this into the second quarter. Nothing going here on that drive. To Lopez. In the first quarter. Nice pass to get things going. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Let's go with it up top. Less than a minute to go in a tightly played first quarter. Had a chance, but it's no good. You see, this is something that everybody has, but some people choose to use it or not. I'm glad you choose to use effort on getting around those screens. To Bledsoe. From long range. That one off the mark. It's no good. 
Has a look. Gasol with the rebound. And count the basket. Assist me. Four, two. The assist. Deep three at the buzzer. Three at the buzzer is good. And a fitting close to this one. They're right back in it after one quarter. Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you. to recover with the block. That kid can block out the sun, Ed. Fires the three. Yes. Not everybody possesses this power, but wow, what quarter awareness. Hill across the timeline. 14-10 the score. Gets a look. Can't hit. To Chris Dunn. Nothing going here on that drive. Short jumper stays out. Let's go, pick him up, pick him up. To Brogdon. The drive right to the middle. Oh! oh! Out there looking like the Kimbe Matumbo. Took it right to him, and the defender was ready. Tough make through traffic. Mm. Usually rookies allow themselves to get sped up because they're so hyped to play against the greats. But you, you got a different speed to your game. It's called boards. Screen coming. George Hill. He's finally on the board. Makes his first shot. Oh, don't see the read. Be the read. Levine. Wide open look won't go. Mm, this game is all about the small victories, though. The execution on that play was on point. You keep executing like that, those shots are going in eventually. I can't miss those. Now a steal by Milwaukee. Come on, let's dig in. Let's really build this lead. Middleton to Kevin Herter. Beyond the arc for three. Off the iron. No good. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Yes. Give the advantage to the shooter. He's most definitely got the hot hand behind the three-point arc. Anytime your first-round pick is shooting like this, your GMs and owners just sit back and smile. Driving right to the basket. Lori Markkinen pins it. Oh, straight down the middle for two. And whether you're moving north or south or east or west, you got to be able to keep pace with the ball carrier and most importantly, stay in his chest. That's on the defender. It's way too early to be fatigued. To Levine. Don't, don't, got it, trap, got it, got it. He gets it. He's been doing this for years, the physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. To Middleton. George Hill to Brogdon for three. That's rebounded by Chicago. And he finishes at the rim. Showing you why he belongs here in this league with the best of the best. Efficient scoring out of the rookie here tonight. Hill into the front court. His guy should be able to get the final shot. Almost unlucky bounce. That's what you've come to expect. Your best players making baskets. Late heave to beat the buzzer. Time expires to end the first half with the Bulls in front. Thanks for joining us for the halftime report. Porter. Marking it. 
fires the three, buries it on the catch and shoot. Mm. When a rookie starts to believe that he not only can play, but more importantly, he belongs, nights like this become more and more common. Now a whistle, and we'll get a timeout called by Milwaukee as their coach wants to get a word in with his guys here in this third quarter. Knock loose. Hill. 4-3. It's rebounded by the Bulls. To Lopez. Whistled for the foul. Chance coming up at the free throw line. This drives me nuts when I see fouls like that being called in a close game. Sometimes you just got to let them play, ref. He connects on the first free throw. Good free throw shooting. Knocks down a pair. Hill across the timeline. His club staring up at an eight-point deficit. A drive to the basket, but the shot rattles around and out. And one of the most underrated things in this game is quick lateral speed. Good job by utilizing that speed and taking away the lane. Porter. Trying to cash in. Not that time. To George Hill. Screen coming. Robin Lopez swats in. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. To Markinen. Stuffs it down with authority. Oh, man, did you see that swiftness? He dunked that thing like a tennis ball. It looked like that in his hand. Hill into the front court. His guys trail by 10. Has a chance. Hill can't connect. Gets to the basket and scores. Hey, one of the things I hear all the great teams say in the huddle, they say one, two, three, no mercy. Now it's time for you to go even harder on the defensive end. Got a piece of it. Cruises inside for two. One can make the case he might be glad he didn't get the end one. Nothing going here on that drive to Porter. Otto Porter, better late than never. That was his first shot, and it goes down. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. To Gasol. Hill. Won't go. Rebound, rebound. To Markinen. Finishing inside the paint on that one. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. The pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Out of bounds the call off Robin Lopez. It stays with Milwaukee. with four to shoot. Going to launch beyond the arc. Not getting the bounce. Hill driving, but his shot won't go. Just inside the arc. At the buzzer. Three quarters down. Nice cushion for the Bulls. The Bucks to the inbound to start this. We know what's coming. Go get them. Substitutions, Chicago. Into the game for the Bucks. Number 77, Ursan Iliasova. To Lopez. Off the assist. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. To Middleton. Hey, watch the screen left. 
Let's it fly from long range. Good contest. Middleton off the mark. And big time coaching strategy by the staff right there. Utilizing their bench, keeping fresh legs on that shooter consistently throughout the course of the game. Trap, 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 trap. To Lopez. Robin Lopez. Small sample size, but making the most of it. He's one for two. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. The pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Otto Porter at the line for a chance at a three-point play. For his career, 78% at the line. Knocked loose. That's going to be out of bounds. Deep three at the buzzer. Hits the late three at the buzzer, but it's not going to be enough. This game is all over. The Bulls. And that does it for our post-game wrap-up. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. Thanks for joining us. It's NBA. All right, here we go. To Whiteside. Oladipo. And he hits. It's taken away. I'm hearing some boos from the crowd. Hey, they know up, just like up. I know you're not getting back on D. And hits for two. It's a strong Wait finish. Wait Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. Ball, Paul George. <laughs> to Jokic. Goes to the left side. Dane oh, rises, <laughs> gets a look. Oh, Can't hit. I got this D on him. And the basket good at the rim. No I doubt about where that one was headed. Here we go. Here we go. Here Come on. Go. Go. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. Let's it fly from long range. Jay, another one goes down. They're right where they want to be. Exactly. Next play, you got to turn around defensively and get in the stance and actually keep that same kind of tempo. We get a whistle and a timeout as they will get together and talk things over. Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. Giannis Adetokounmpo sends it away. That kid can block out the sun, Ed. Harden. Down low, Aldridge. And watch him do the rest. Slam dunk. Whoa, he got up there. Just showing you that 40-inch vertical. Giannis in control of the basketball. His team up by seven. There's a chance from long range. That's off the side of the rim. No good. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching yeah. staff call the yeah. same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. of Leonard out of bounds they're gonna make some changes with some new personnel on the floor Aldridge cutter 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 coming through coming through Giannis Adetokounmpo rejects it the opposing coach is gonna counter make some changes of his own Hey, it's our game. Let's take it home now. Let's go.
That's all for this entertaining first quarter of the NBA. Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you, and we got this. Let's go. And number 45, Donovan Mitchell. Oh, yes, me and you, me and you. LeBron, up, tough matchup against Butler. To Paul. Down the lane to lay it in. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game now. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true. He's also finding his rhythm. Right, right, right. Screen coming. To number zero. Not great for One minute remaining. Chance for Chris Paul. He working for Not us. that time. Rebound. Here's Simmons with it up top. Under a minute to go before halftime. The drive right to the basket. He takes it right at them and scores. You have to fill in there. Man, he's got the defender out there tap dancing like that on national TV. That's not a good sign. James to Paul. Can't get in from in close. Calls out of bounds. Last touch by LeBron James. So possession will stay right where it is. To Drummond. <laughs> see the screen, see it. To Butler. Going to launch beyond the arc. That's off the side of the rim, short. From long range, buries it on the catch and shoot. He showed that he had great chemistry with his teammates on that shot. Keep getting him good looks, and the one will just keep scoring. And they call it. Ah, uh, his timing was a tad bit off. It's Paul for two. Almost, but no good. We are at halftime. What's well, been a hard-fought battle so far? Let's get you to our NBA Live studios in Orlando and hand. And that concludes our halftime report. Let's go, Browns! It's go time. night but effective two for two i get tired of hearing guys say i, I was there i, I contested a shot i pretty much had a hand in his face well no you have to change up the game hey, if a guy is right handed right, he right. is right eye dominant get that hand over me got that. a piece mm. of it jumping out the gym right now ed great anticipation just enough of a head fake to help on that one who compares to AD offensively? We would be doing a disservice if we compared AD just to one player. He's an amalgamation. Think about Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, Marcus Camby. Throw them all into a blender, you get Anthony Davis. Well defended. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Paul George. Better late than never. That was his first shot, and it goes down. But most importantly, you have to keep the ball moving. Maybe run some floppy sets, some horn sets. Raise those bigs up, which open up the lane, and let them be the passers to make plays easier for the guards. Andre Drummond ah, tips it. Oh, he blocked that with authority. Muller to bring it up. Up by six. 4-3. Oh, that's how it's done. Mm. When a rookie starts to believe that he not only can play, but more importantly, he belongs, nights like this become more and more common. I got him. Here we go. Here we go. Harden gets it in the left corner. George sizing up Butler. Quiet night, but two for three in the contest right now. 
Ooh, I'm telling you from experience, his teammates will never let that one down. Trying to cash in? It's all right. It's Not all right. that time. It's easy. Force guys into low percentage shots. That's the okay, reason why we're big into hey, stats. Mitchell, Mitchell, it was Mitchell. all provided to you before the game in the scouting report. George to Harden. Kawhi Leonard snatching it out of the air. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Butler. Knocked loose. Picked up. Here we go. LeBron with it up top. The margin standing now at seven. Has a chance. LeBron shot off the mark. You know, Ed, everybody gives so much credit to the guy in the test for the shot. But there's no way he's in that position without the communication from the backbone of the defense. When you have a guy back there who can block shots and tells you to apply more pressure, you know you're in a safe place. The free throw, good. Cashes in on the three-point play. The lead now stands at 10. It's hard. Deep two there, won't go. Fourth quarter getting everything underway as it's team. Just that ice cold stare. That's a sign of somebody who's here to compete. Kevin Durant Mitchell, Mitchell, with Mitchell. the rock to Conley. Knocked loose. Keeps the ball in bounds. That's what you want to see. Richardson. Beyond the arc for three. Second of three is good. Three for three. Nice. Kawhi Leonard able to recover with the block. You know, sometimes basketball can become a very beautiful thing to watch. During the regular season, things can get difficult. Energy can be low. The passion at times can even be lower because players are tired. They're fatigued. But today, it's all been good. They're putting in an absolute show with killer efficiency and tremendous effort and intensity. Here comes the screen. Knock loose. Consistent effort. He's at 50%. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. My ball, my ball. Get the ball, get the ball. Double, double. Got him. To Trap. love. Got him. Got him. Double, 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 double. Scores from the post. Old school equals high percentage. Match up, y'all. Let's go. Pick him up. Pick him up. It's Lillard for two. I got a shot by Lillard. No good. Your contest was great because of your proximity to the player. You forced his follow through to be cut short, which made him short from the shot. Nice find for the basket. Like well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. Hey, if that's an epidemic, sign me up. Count it. And the foul. He is going to the line for a free throw. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra rebound, point. The follow won't go either. Griffin. Fires the three. Not easy. He's most definitely got the hot hand behind the three-point arc. 
Anytime your first round pick is shooting like this, your GMs and owners just sit back and smile. I got him. I got ball. I got ball. Damian Lillard. Shot by Lillard. No good. We go. Trap this. Trap this. Come on. We got him. Knock ball loose. Pin, ball pin, it's touch, a turnover touch. as they head the other way. That's out. Last touch by Mike Conley. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a hey, knockout man, punch, and that's that, what we're man. seeing tonight. Out of bounds the call. Off Kevin Love. No turnover as possession stays where it was. You better get back on D. This thing is not over. Conley to Durant. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Message received. Well defended. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Fires the three. Second ever. And a put back slam. Deep three at the buzzer. Oh, that's three. Oh. On behalf of Ed Corn and Jay Williams, this is Jalen Rose signing off. It's NBA action on EA. The opening tip won by the Timberwolves as we get rolling from target center. T. And he's going to the line to shoot. You see this all the time. The defensive player is establishing his presence on the court and also checking to see how far the refs are going to let him go. And hits the first free throw. Good free throw shooting. Knocks down a pair. Ed, I'm going to gloat about my old team here for a second. Did you know the Bulls are the only NBA franchise to win multiple championships and never lose an NBA final series in their history? 6-0 right now. It helped to have a guy named MJ. But, Jake, think about this. If he's not gone those two seasons, maybe it's eight straight final wins. Jones with it. He'll run the offense to Wiggins. Knocked loose. T defended by the former Hoya. I drive to the basket, but it somehow stays out. That's superb defense. That's a defense getting there from the weak side early and making the player short on the shot. T with it up top. Down right, just a I couple. Tough make through traffic. I wasn't necessarily sure which way that PNR was going, but I guess neither was the defense. That makes two of us. So Wendell Carter. Wendell Carter powers it through. And when you get your prescription, you take your medicine and you call it a day. Jones with it. They trail by two. To Wiggins. Down low towns. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. Old school equals high percentage. Carl Anthony Towns sends it away. Carter just erasing mistakes left and right. Off the mark. Teague with the basketball. Looking to make something happen to Wiggins. T to Towns. Down low. 
and he's fouled. A couple of free throws coming up, Jay. You never really want to foul a shooter, but if you do, ensure they're going to have a tough time converting. That's good knowledge of personnel. Last two minutes. Substitutions. Misses the second as well. Hey, locked up, locked up. To marking it. Able to convert inside. The seventh pick overall. Larry Marketing had an exquisite rookie season, ending the year all rookie first team. Even executive VP John Paxson of the Bulls organization referred to him as the cornerstone of the franchise. To T. Oh, had him going there for a second. Covington. Five to shoot for Minnesota. Trying to cash in. Gibson with a shot. That won't fall. To Zach Levine. Fires the three, knocks it down. Defender has to get there next time. Ooh, that confidence level is so superior. Whenever you start jogging back on defense before the ball even goes through the net, that speaks for itself. Here comes the screen. Covington. Tyus Jones up against Porter. The Wolves down to four in the shot clock. 4-3. Shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Chicago basketball. Levine goes to the right side. Oh, he had him there for a second. That one's going to be out of bounds. Teague with it up top. Four points the differential as we come up on halftime. Here comes the screen. To Teague. He was all over him. Missed the shot. No free throws. Yo, big kudos to the defender. It seems like the mere press stuffs it down with authority. I don't think I could do that on the five-foot rim. I can because that's my only choice. <laughs> Deep three at the buzzer. That'll do it for the first half with the Bulls in front. And with that, I'm sending it back to Ed and Jay to bring you the rest of the game. Bulls hey, with boys, it. I got him. To Wendell Carter. Levine. Here comes the screen. To Markinen. Levine. Offensive rebound. On the follow. Way to stay with it. And it's so deflating for the defense when you pick up right exactly where you left off at halftime. That's the kind of energy you need. Now whistle as Minnesota's going to take the timeout as their coach wants to get a word in with his guys here in this third quarter. To T. Five on the shot clock. Take my, take my. Jeff T. Consistent effort. He's at 50%. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. To Porter. Has a chance. Won't go. The most important thing a shooter can do is continue to shoot. The defense is always going to give great effort, but it's more of your psyche that goes into the next shot that will limit you on whether you make the shot or not. Oh, Carter with the rejection. Whoa! Whoa. Get that out of here! Message sent, Jay. Both coaches hitting the reset button. 
fresh legs coming onto the floor. That'll get. Substitutions, Minnesota. Substitutions, Chicago. Let's it fly from beyond the arc and a putback slam. Ooh, shows like this separate the good players from the great ones. The good players, they have good first halves, and then they fade to black in the second. The great players, they just sustain that kind of dynamic energy throughout the entire ball game. Has a look. Shot by Wiggins, won't go. Here's a chance from long range, buries it. Look, the reality is some players have it and some players don't. There's a reason why they call him the one. It's Minnesota basketball. To Wiggins from long range. Yes, Andrew Wiggins. Quiet night, but two for three in the contest right now. It just seems like everybody's getting more touches. I'm not saying who, but it seemed like the ball stopped in a certain player's hands, which forced the defense to become stagnant. Jones with it. His group now down two. To Wiggins. Knocked loose. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. You better get back on D. This thing is not over. Buries the three. He's most definitely got the hot hand behind the three-point arc. Anytime your first-round pick is shooting like this, your GMs and owners just sit back and smile. Wiggins hits a turnover as they head the other way. Fires the three, buries the three. He's too good to leave that open. Mm. When a rookie starts to believe that he not only can play, but more importantly, he belongs, nights like this become more and more common. Here comes the screen. For three, and he can't get it to go down. It's no good. To Markinen. Going along beyond the arc. That's off the side of the rim. Short. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Knocked loose. And that's going to get out of bounds. It'll stay with the T-Wolves. Five to shoot for Minnesota. Let's it fly from long range. Second effort. Shot from the lane, won't go. The Bulls take this one as they get a good win on the road. That does it. For my partner, Jay Williams, and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of ESPN on EA Sports. Until next time, I'm Jalen Rose, signing off.